Hello there. Welcome to week seven of Sterling Soaps. Uh, today, this week, we're into Sterling's Black Ice, which is an anise or anise and uh, menthol flavored shaving soap. Off the pup, I get really strong licorice smell. Got a little soap on me there. Uh, but there's something, something else there too. I can't describe it. It may be, I may be smelling like the back end of the menthol or something like that. It doesn't particularly smell like just menthol. It, it smells like there's something else there, but I can't really describe it. I'm using uh, my Smoke 1438 bore brush. I took the liberty of whipping up some lather, lather, not lather, some lather ahead of time. The anise scent, once the lather has been whipped up, is not very strong at all. Uh, I don't know what the menthol content of this soap is. We will be seeing real soon here. Uh, I'm going to wet my face. One thing that I can tell you about this lather right off the bat is that this soap, this sterling soap, the lather whipped up this, in this soap faster. I mean, a lot faster than the other Sterling soaps using a fairly dry brush. I don't know what accounts for that, but you can look and see this is it's a it's a wonderful lather, nice and creamy very slick and uh, so I'm pleased with that I'm gonna be using my 916th JR Torre straight And I am, um, I have several different sizes. I have a couple of 9 sixteenths, a couple of 6 8 straights, and a 5 8. And uh, to be completely honest, I like every one of them. It would be really hard for me. The uh, soap slid down the shank of the razor. And it's so slick I had to get it off of my fingers or I could not. control this razor. Ow. I just cut myself with this razor. Wonderful. It happens sometimes. I uh, I don't know what happened there, but instead of coming straight down, my dumb self went like this just a little bit. I do it sometimes. It happens. I don't know. I don't know whether that was because I'm having some shakiness in my hand that I don't notice or that I was just stupid.
just did it again here. And what's going on, I think what has happened is my, sometimes, I've, I've mentioned it before, that sometimes it's better for me to use a DE. Uh, sometimes due to my diabetes, I have problems with my hand trembling. Things of that nature of jerking. I try to pay attention to that. But sometimes I miss. And I could see myself making that movement as a mistake the first time around but I can't see myself doing that twice in a row not I've been sh shaving with the straight long enough to know better so I would assume that I have some tremors going on my buddy the styptic pen that I'm not quite aware of now I know when I, a lot of guys when they cut themselves with a razor they, they finish the shave and then they deal with it for me I finish the pass unless it's a really really bad bleeder which I've never really gotten but I finish the pass and then I take care of any bleeding excuse me need to wipe my stiptic dry but I take care of any cleaning or any bleeding can't talk this evening either I took care take care of any bleeding and then I move on to the next pass now what I have learned on shaving my face is that for me against the grain and across the grain or, or opposite from what most people most shavers would consider the pass that I'm fixing to make most shavers would consider this a, an against the grain pass. For my skin, for my beard, this is across the grain. I love the way this razor speaks. My cheap microphone in this laptop doesn't pick it up really well but this razor talks wonderfully well I have thought about hooking up a really nice studio condenser mic that I have simply to catch stuff like that because I think it might add an enjoyment to the video. But It would be an awful lot of setup every time I went to shave and it's just not something that I'm prepared to do all the time.
like now I am working on getting that coming up over that chin on what most would consider an against the grain pass. And I will eventually get that a little at a time. Can't learn everything in one go. So. I'm taking a tip from someone. I believe. Actually, I started to say I believe it was John Halleck, but actually to think of it I don't believe that's who it was but there was someone here that I subscribed to shaving videos who mentioned when you wipe your face to wipe with the grain and not against or, or anything like that it helps to cut down on irritation and I have for the most part been trying to follow that and it, it has helped now the the uh, menthol in this in my opinion is either right around the same level or really close to the same level maybe just a touch up but I couldn't swear to it. Uh, the meat is. But it's a wonderful, nice face feel. Uh, very cold. Uh, and soothing to my face. The anisant is kind of there I was expecting it to be more uh, but now I can say that whether it's the menthol or the anise or anise or whatever you want to call it or the combination of it This is burning my eyes a little bit. So, you menthol lovers, if you want, I'll let you comment on what that means whether it means that the menthol level is high or, or whether it's the anise or what. I am becoming. A mint head. <laughs> I, I'm becoming someone who really likes menthol in their shaving soap. So, to be certain, that's not the only type of shaving soap I would like. But I am becoming a big fan of menthol. The lather on this is wonderful. Uh, The menthol on it is wonderful. The 
and just to add to my initial thought of the quantity of menthol that is in this soap it's more than it's definitely more that's in the that's than is in the meta the margaritas in the arctic uh, as i shave with it my face is getting colder and colder so it's coming on slowly and building and it's sustaining and building so fairly high I would say fairly high menthol content with with one caveat and that is that I'm not very experienced with menthol so there certainly could be products out there that could be much much higher in menthol content but I believe that uh, you could probably get to a point where the menthol was painful if you weren't careful but I like that I like the the higher menthol content I like the coolness on my face the shave was good barring the fact that uh, that I cut myself a couple of times but that was my fault not the shaving soap's fault uh, but the shave is incredibly close and smooth just wonderful shave and the scent is wonderful or the actually the scent there's not a whole lot of it to it there's not a lot of the, any there's not a lot of scent that actually comes off this soap once you turn it into a lather uh, i'm going to try some uh, some of my favorite going to stay with the menthol theme and do some aqua vela ice glue after that, this is a, by the way, a, an aftershave that I like to use when I've had a bit of irritation or when I've done something like cut myself. The menthol in this aftershave tends to help soothe that. So, uh, that's my review. The soap gave a wonderful shave. The lather is really quick to mix and uh, to form on the puck. A nice stick, you know, the that, uh, I don't want to say gummy, but gooey kind of pre-lather that you know you're going to need in order to whip up a nice, thick, uh, fat kind of lather. Uh, comes off of this puck almost as soon as you start swallowing the brush off of it uh, more so than the others before it and so I do believe that is a characteristic of this particular uh, scent it's either got something to do with the anise or with the level of menthol in it uh, I would assume it was the anise because I have read on the forums that uh, in particular Mentholated soap sometimes people have difficulty in either getting a good ladder or one that will sustain itself when you end up getting into higher levels of menthol so if it, if i had to guess i would say the anise or anise the licorice scent content component of this soap is what causes it to lather like it does but it's a lather champ uh, if you can't lather this soap right here, this particular black ice, uh, you need to spend some time in front of a sink with a big fat puck of soap and just stand there and lather and lather and lather over and over again. You need to learn how to lather because this stuff lathers really well. All right, that's my shave and my uh, review. Uh, this looks promising. I will let you know 
at the end of the week. Uh, final thoughts on it and how my shave went through the weeks. God bless you. And I will see you on the big shave and uh, the wet shave, wet shave uh, video forums on Facebook and Google Plus. They're new. I'm gonna uh, and uh, I'll do and the rest of the forums. I'll see you on all of those. And I appreciate uh, the time you've taken to uh, share my shave with me this evening. God bless you.